Have you ever wondered how to grow your client base and stay connected without spending hours on email marketing? MailChimp is the best tool designed to simplify the process, which makes it easier than ever to create campaigns, manage contacts, and even automate your communication. It's perfect for beginners and solves the problem of staying organized while saving you time. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to make MailChimp work for you. So let's get started. The first step is creating your MailChimp account. Start by visiting MailChimp's website and signing up. All you need is an email address, a username, and a password. Once that's done, check your inbox for a confirmation email. Clicking the link in that email activates your account. When you log in for the first time, you'll be asked to select a plan. If you're just starting out, we recommend sticking with the free plan. It's a perfect choice for beginners and gives you access to all the basics without feeling rushed into committing to paid features. Next, you'll fill out some basic information like your name and business name and add a physical address for compliance with anti-spam laws. A tip here. If you're not comfortable using your personal address, you can use a P.O. box or a business address instead. Once you've completed these steps, you'll be on your MailChimp dashboard. Now that your account is ready, it's time to set up the email you'll use to send campaigns. In the top right corner, click on your profile, then account and billing. From there, click on domain. Under the email domain section, click on add and verify. Enter the email address you want to use, and MailChimp will send a verification email to that address. Once you've received it, copy the verification code back into MailChimp, and your email domain is all set. Taking this step ensures your emails look professional and gives recipients confidence that they're coming from a legitimate source. Plus, it's a small detail that helps you establish trust from the very first email. Before sending any emails, let's organize your audience. Head over to the Audience tab on the left-hand menu. Here, you'll see settings to manage your audience, such as adding subscribers, creating tags, and setting campaign defaults. Setting up tags from the beginning is a great habit. For example, if someone signs up through your website, you could tag them as website subscriber. Later, if someone joins through a specific event, you could tag them differently. This system makes it so much easier to send targeted emails down the line. Imagine having hundreds of subscribers, but not knowing where they came from. It's a crisis you can avoid with just a bit of organization up front. A great way to grow your email list is by embedding a sign-up form on your website. Click the Audience tab on the left side, then choose Sign-up form. Select Pop-up form, pick your audience, and begin designing. The pop-up editor allows you to choose a layout, add an image, and edit the text. You can also customize the form to ask for details like a first name and email address. Don't forget to personalize the success message that appears after someone signs up. Something simple like, thanks for joining, works well. When you're done designing, go to settings and decide when the pop-up should appear. For instance, you can set it to show up after five seconds or when someone scrolls past a specific point on your site. Finally, connect your website to MailChimp by pasting a small piece of code into your site's header. Platforms like WordPress make this easy with plugins, such as insert headers and footers. Once connected, test it out by visiting your site to see if the pop-up appears. Once people start joining your email list, it's time to communicate with them. Let's create a simple email campaign. Go back to the Create button, but this time, select Email. Choose Regular Email, give it a name, and click Begin. Start by setting up your recipients, which is essentially selecting your audience. Next, check the From information. This should be the email address you verified earlier. Then, craft your subject line and preview text. Keep your subject line engaging. For example, if you're sharing tips, something like three quick tips to improve your marketing works well. Now, move on to designing the email itself. MailChimp offers two options, the classic and the new builder. We recommend the new builder for its simplicity. Choose a template, then start editing. You can add text, images, buttons, and even adjust the layout. Once you're satisfied, click save and exit. Review everything on the summary page 
then click Send Now to send it immediately or schedule it for later if you're on a paid plan. Welcome emails are a fantastic way to greet new subscribers. To send one, go back to the Create button and click on Automation. From the pre-build templates below, select Welcome New Contacts, then Use This Journey, and hit Continue. You can further customize the email as you prefer. For example, you can choose the audience, give a subject, schedule the email, and also use templates that go with your brand. Apart from that, there are also options to set rules for your emails. In MailChimp, rules determine how and when a contact moves through the map. For example, you want to send a follow-up email with a discount, but you don't want to send this right away. Add a time delay rule which will prevent a contact from moving forward until a set time has passed. If you upgrade to a paid plan, you'll unlock automations. This feature allows you to create sequences of emails that are sent automatically based on triggers, like someone joining your list. To get started, head over to Create, then Automation, and finally, Create Automation. For example, you could set up an onboarding sequence. Begin by selecting a trigger such as Signs Up. Then, add a tag like New Subscriber to keep things organized. From there, drag in actions like Send Email and create a welcome email. Add time delays between emails, like three days, to space out your communication. You can even add conditions to segment your audience further. For example, sending a specific email only to those who clicked a previous link. Automations are like having an assistant handle your email marketing while you focus on other tasks. Once set up, they run in the background, saving you time and ensuring consistent communication. After sending campaigns or setting up automations, you'll want to monitor their performance. MailChimp's reports provide valuable insights like open rates, click-through rates, and unsubscribe rates. For example, if your email about three quick tips had a high open rate but a low click-through rate, it might mean people liked the topic but didn't find the content engaging enough to take action. Using these insights, you can tweak your subject lines, content, or even the timing of your emails to improve results over time. That's it for this tutorial. With these steps, you're well on your way to mastering MailChimp. Whether you're setting up your first campaign or experimenting with automations, start small, stay organized, and let your email marketing grow with you. If this helped, let us know. We'd love to hear how you're using these tips.